Hey, hey, it's Bobby from Dig Coding here, and this is the sixth video in the building and launching a real Django website series. If you haven't already, subscribe and like. I mean, it's massively helpful. Please, please, please just do it, and I won't mention it anymore until the end of the video. Anyway, if you've been following along, you will know already that what we're doing, we're trying to build a beautiful website from scratch and get it out there for the world to see. So far, we've, we've started a project, we've done some bits and pieces with the admin, we've done models, URLs and views. We're getting there now. Last video, which a link to it is up here now, we were looking at HTML. So in that video, I go into detail about HTML and CSS, they manage the structure and the style of a web page that you see on your browser. Without one or the other, it's terrible. And that's where we've got to. We've got, we're rendering out a home page and about us, a contact and a media page, but they look terrible. So now what we need to do is we now need to start writing some CSS. So I'm gonna plow through, add some CSS to um, a file that we've got in a static um, directory. And then hopefully with any luck, by the end of today's video, our four web pages will start to look like something okay. It's not going to look beautiful, but they're going to be web pages that we can actually see on our server. And that translates well with, with when we move it to a, a production server. If it looks good on, on local or in development, it will look great when we go live. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, on the screen here, uh, I haven't uh, actually, I filmed the last video about 10 minutes ago. So I'm still, I've still got the file open on media HTML. These are the files that we made last time. If you remember, we made a base HTML. We added a little block here. Uh, we added some, uh, a fonting, some fonts from Google, and we've got a main CSS file. And then we're extending this file in the media, in the contact about and, and home page. But we'll, we'll just keep on the index page for now, which is the home page. So this is a block content that extends the main base HTML. And we're pulling in an image called default JPEG and we're pulling in a logo. Now this logo uh, image uh, element in HTML has already got a little bit of CSS in it. I added style, so I added width. So I'm saying that when that logo is rendered, then make it 150 pixels wide because the file itself is huge. Um, so that's how it will be rendered when we look at it on the screen. But now what we do, we've added a class to each one of these divs. So we've got class BG image, We've got class top left and we've got class middle. So when we start uh, adding CSS to this HTML document, we can start referring to those elements. That's how CSS works. So you, you can find elements in a HTML document based on its ID, its class, its element type. There's a whole range of uh, ways you can identify an element. But when you've identified an element or elements, then you can add some styling to it. And that's what CSS is. It's cascading style sheet. It's all about adding some flavor, some style to your HTML. Now, don't get me wrong, this, there isn't much flavor going into this today, but you'll get the gist of it. So this is the main CSS file, blank, not much going on. But what we're going to do, we're gonna start adding some now. So right at the top, we'll add body HTML. So. What this is doing, we're referring to two HTML elements. Now, if we're going to base HTML, that's the body, and this is HTML. So this is what we're looking for in the HTML, uh, CSS file here. So you open up in the same way as uh, curly bracket, and we want to say height, we want this to be 100%, okay? And that's all there is to it on that one. We save that. And then is the we've got the server running? I think we've got the server running. Great, we have. And if we go into a browser and open it up incognito, control, control shift N, I do that because then it will uh, bring in a CSS file each time. It won't cache it and you won't be, every change that you make will actually appear on the screen. So local host. So not much change there. Okay, so what we will now do is we will add a bit for, we'll do logo and let's do the BG image. So BG IMG. So a dot in CSS is referring to a class. If we were referring to an ID, we would use a hash. But this is a class. If you remember the class for this HTML element 
which is an index, is here, class equals BGING. That's what we're referring to. So we want an open bracket, and then we want height, and we want 100%. Underneath that, we'll go with background position. We want this center in the screen. So it will give you some to select from. We'll just have center. Then we want background size. Background size. And we want cover. Then we'll have position. So in this, we want it relative to the screen. So position, relative, color. Now, you can add whatever color you want, but we've selected, or I've selected, 3D0048. And that's just a hex code. You can, um, you can select any color you like. And then we'll have font family. So, so the font family in this case, if you remember on the last video in base, we're using Courier Prime. So in the CSS, we refer to it as Courier Prime. And mono space. And then lastly, we want font size to be 25 pixels. So font size 25 pixels. That's it, that's all we're gonna do. And we will then, let's save that and see if this will work. There we go. So we've added, just by adding that small piece of CSS, it's, it's transformed what the website looks like, what the web page looks like. Um, and because we're, we're, capture, we're, we're making a call, a CSS, sorry, the CSS is referring to a class that appears in all of the pages, if I now go forward slash about, it'll work on there too. So that's why we're using classes. We're not, we're not identifying CSS by ID because that'll be a single element, although that single element could appear in each of the pages. We're, in this case, we're looking at class and class can be in numerous elements. So back to the CSS. So hang on, back to the page, hang on a minute. So we want this about text and line. We want that to be center bang in the middle, because really what we're developing here is a coming soon page. That's what my idea is, to have a coming soon, and then once we've got that launched online in a production server, we can then get a template, we buy a template, or we can then actually add some more flavor to it. And in here, you've got the little logo. That's not doing anything yet, but we will do something shortly. Yeah, okay, we probably don't even need that. So we will go, we won't go dot .logo, because we haven't got a class for dot .logo we will instead refer to top left. So top left, so we're now referring to the element here, top left, this whole segment, this whole piece of code. And then after that, we'll refer to middle, which would be dot middle in the CSS file. So top left, what we want is position. We want that to be absolute. We want top, so the top of the screen. We want that zero. And we want left. And this will be 16 pixels. So there'll be a bit of a um, bit of a gap there. And we will then have middle. And before we do that, let's save. Actually, I won't make a change because we're only looking at the top left there. So if we do middle. We want position again. We want this absolute, except this time we want 50%. So we want 50% of the screen from the top. And likewise, from the left, we want 50%. So it would be 50% from the top, 50% from the left, which would be bang in the middle. And then we want transform, translate, we want minus 50%, minus 50%, and text align center. So 
text that we've now got on there, so it's a home or about or coming soon or maintenance, that will now appear smack bang in the middle of the screen on no matter what device we're looking at. And as we shrink down the screen, it will shrink down and always appear in the middle which is what we want. And we have got an element in there called HR, if you remember. We'll just add some CSS to that too. So we'll have margin, auto, and we'll have width 40%. Okay, what we've got, top left, middle, B add, there we go, save that. Let's update this. Okay. Okay, what are we doing? The, the, it looks like the image, it's not like an image. So let's go in here, decoding.png, PNG, static branding, decoding.png, 404, not found. Okay, we'll work out what's going on there in a second. Okay. Okay, sorry. Um, so uh, I was, I, when I opened up the screen and I realised that the um, the home and the about wasn't in the middle, I was thinking what was going on. But uh, you probably saw when I was typing away. And if you have been watching any of this, you'll realise that my typing is terrible. You can see I've got minus five oh five percent, which isn't what we want. We're minus fifty percent. That's where the transform translate is. And hopefully now, there we go. That's bang on. That's exactly what I wanted. That's uh, in, the, in the other app that I built just for this tutorial. That is exactly what it looks like. However, we have got a bit of an issue with a logo here. So um, it's not appearing. So I'll look in my inspector console and it will say here that it's failed to load resource. The server responded with status 404. So it can't find did coding PNG. That is because it's not did coding PNG. When I brought across the, um, uh, the bits and pieces into branding, it's called did logo. So it can look all it wants for uh, uh, did coding. It's not going to be in there. So index trouble is I've copied that across in all of them. So we'll save that and we'll look at home. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So no, that, it, that would do for now. We will get something launched that looks like this. It will say coming soon or maintenance. And that's what we will actually go ahead and launch. But then what we'll do is well, when it's launched, we'll then start adding some more features. So when people visit the website diddemo.com, it will say coming soon. But in the background, we'll be fleshing it out and adding some more uh, HTML files. We might even get a template online and we'll, we'll work out how to implement a, a paid for template into a project. But this will do for now. Okay. So that is it. No, it isn't what we need to do. We've, we've added did logo here. We now need to add it because I'm a plonker and I need to put it all in here. There, there and there. Save the files. Contact save media media save that's it that's the end of this video so now we're really cooking on gas right so we've got a project and we've actually got a website that when we run a server locally we visit local host and there we have it. we've got a home page and about us a contact the media page brilliant thank you very much for watching um and well don't forget to subscribe and like i said at the start of the video please please do it it's massively helpful thank you see you in the next video bye bye